Hey guys, it's Eric from Pin Pioneer, and in this video I want to talk to you about version 1062, which is the latest Pin Pioneer version, and some of the recent Pinterest changes and how they will affect your usage. So to begin, the, probably the biggest thing that's changed is the difference between old look and new look when using Pinterest. Uh, recently Pinterest has adapted their user interface so that some accounts now look a little bit different. In this case, you can tell easily if an account is old look or new look in order to avoid future issues. Just go to your login, click on your username. First, this little menu item will be different. And also, if you go to your actual profile page, you'll have an activity button here. And this is old look. New look is a little bit different. You have a slightly different menu item, as you can see. If you go, so let me go back. Um, like so. So you have a slightly different menu item, as you can see. And if you go to your actual profile, you have no activity button. That's how you know that this is a new look and that the former is an old look. So when you're using Pin Pioneer, make sure you have the appropriate function selected because if you're using an old look account and you select new look, it won't work. If you select a new look, if you're using a new look account and you select old look, it won't work. So make sure the appropriate function is selected. Now the next thing I want to talk to you about is um, board following and scraping a board's followers. Now, this isn't a primary feature, so I think a lot of people overlook it, but it's there, like a hidden Easter egg. It's just waiting to spring up and surprise everybody. So the way this is done, and it's quite useful if you want to get more targeted followers and follow more targeted individuals in your niche. The way it's done, select boards from your drop down here, and then type in any keyword. Let's say it's skateboarding, as I usually do. Hit scrape and it's going to return back a number of boards. Okay. And see, originally, initially, people would have just seen the boards, they would have right clicked, boards, scrape pins. But there is some hidden functionality. If you select any of these boards, and you right click, and then you go to boards, and while it's on here, you just scroll down as well, you'll see the people tag is now available to be used, particularly the scrape followers button. Previously, if you just go right-click people, it won't work, right? So you have to go boards and then move down and it will show you this functionality, which is very cool. Hit scrape followers. It's going to go ahead and scrape all the followers for this user, uh, for this board, sorry. So as you can see, exit. Now just to show you how, it's wor how it works, check all, export URLs and titles, um, board followers too. Yep, and we can then go back to here, open our folder page, and if you scroll down, you'll see that these are all the boards because they all have the same description, being skateboarding. Okay, so delete these, and now this is our new list of target followers in our niche. Now you can cross-check this with the board you just scraped to make sure that it's correct. And the way you do this is just to go back to the board. In this case, I used the first one, Bo Smith. Right-click, open URL. And let's go to followers here. It's 41 followers. The important thing to note is that Pinterest only lets you scrape about 300 or 400 pins or people at a time. So when you're scraping boards and or people, make sure you, that you don't go for too large a number because if it goes over 400, it will just time out and it won't bring anything back. Or if it will bring back, only bring back the first 400. Just Pinterest limitations, not much we can do about that. Right now, in the future, we have some workarounds, but that's for a whole different video. So you come here and the way you can check to see if the people who you scraped are accurate is just to look at any of the people here and hover over their name and see down below you'll have the URL written. In this case, Chiana Faith. Copy link address into your URL, take this little name like so, copy, go back to your Word, uh, your text file, control F, find, type in the name, find next, and it appears. Excellent. So we can say that we can see that this is the right list. We've scraped a targeted list of followers. All these people are interested in skateboarding. Now we can just go back here um, and save this file. Go back to Pin Pioneer, import URL titles, boards followers too. And now we have all these people who like that board. Now we can go ahead and check all or however many we want and go ahead and follow them like so people 
Pull it. So let me reduce my delay. As you can see, now I'm following this. Target people in my niche who will then most likely reciprocate my content, like my content, etc. etc. Follow me back. To extend this, I can go to each of these people, look at what they're posting, look at their content, comment, like, repin their own content, just to give them more of a notification who I am and to show them you know, that they should follow me back. So that's essentially it for now. I'm going to close this. Now, the final thing, the final thing I want to talk to you about is the preview box. This, since this was a really initial feature in the program, it was one of the first things we included, I don't think a lot of people are um, realizing its potential. So what you can do is pretty simple. Just if you scrape something back, let's say you use Flickr, which is the old function here, you type in wedding, for instance. Scrape. The preview box feature will let you view your image before pinning. Pretty simple. Right-click, preview box. Little box will display here, and just scroll through until it appears like so. Now you can see your image before you pin it. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, but very, very, very useful. So that's it for now. Stay tuned for the next updates. If you have any other questions, I make remember that we're always working, always updating. So just submit a support ticket, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.